the meeting of the Forum of Parliaments of Member States of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region is ongoing in Kampala, Uganda's capital city. It is comprised of the Committee on Economic Development, Regional Integration and Natural Resources. Focus is on proper natural resource management in mineral-rich countries of the Great Lakes region. As you might be aware, the region is still faced with serious security issues. Most recently is the one in public of Sudan and also in the eastern part of DRC, which mitigates and prevents smooth flow of natural resources and also compromise responsible mineral supply chains in the region. It is due to mineral wealth mismanagement that the talk of poverty is still characteristic of countries gifted with mineral resources. The poverty we have should not be existing with these natural resources we have. So we need to make sure that we go out and learn and see how we can customize for our best. But why are things not going right in some African countries endowed with minerals? Part of the answer has a bearing on colonial fragments. Thomas Taiwa is the deputy speaker of the Ugandan parliament. Is it because of our weakness? Is it because we are not capable? Is it because our systems are considered to be so weak that they cannot give justice to foreigners, so we must go to their capitals to get justice for our people? This is something I would implore you to look at. Standardizing, you know, dispute resolution clauses on natural resources in the African countries. Taiwan wants to see reduced political interference in the mining sector underscoring the need to do away with artisanal miners. The most of the artisanal miners, whom we call artisanal miners in Uganda, they are agents. Mubende, we have a district here, Mubende, when, Kassanda, when we checked, we found people from over 10 nationalities and they are saying they are local artisanal miners. But it, do you mean you got, you came away all the way from Congo to be a local in Uganda? To mine gold? Whom are you mining for? And then we politicians, we usually make a mistake. Ah, these are our people, you've chased my voters, you've chased my voters. Okay. But these people are going to remain earning nothing out of this. The aspects of transparency and good governance are being emphasized for all Africans to benefit from their mineral wealth. And we are talking about the West colonizing us. Okay? And we are saying we are tired of you, the West, you're colonizing us. But again, we are hiring mercenaries from neighbors of the West to come and crush our people when they demand for good governance. These are some of the reasons why the forum is meeting in Kampala. Ambassador Onyango Kakoba is the Secretary General. What I can assure you is that most, in most of these countries, if not all, they are very, very, very good laws, but what is, I think is lacking is the implementation. So as parliamentarians, I think one of the key roles of the parliamentarians is to make sure they follow up, to make sure that those instruments that have been in place are implemented. The Great Lakes region has abundant natural resources, including minerals such as tin, tantalum, tungsten and gold. These are essential components of everyday products like cell phones, iPads, refrigerators, ornaments, airplane components, and automobiles. Henry Okrut, UBC.